I used to suffer from chronic back pain for years when I used to work a 9 to 5 desk job. Before discovering the simple practice of hanging for 5 minutes every day, which resulted in my back pain going away completely. And if you're also struggling with chronic back and shoulder issues despite trying different fixes, you might think you're doomed to live the rest of your life in pain. But I'm here to tell you, you can live a pain-free life and have full mobility again. Not by taking painkillers or using pain relief patches and sprays, but by simply turning back the clock and practicing something you used to do as a kid. And pay attention to the shocking number I'm about to reveal because it might just save your life or the life of someone you love one day. But before I reveal it, you must understand what's causing your back pain to begin with and why. If you're an 80s baby like me, then you most likely spent a lot of time playing outdoors when you were a kid. I mean, there were no iPads or cell phones back then. You actually had to play with other kids, which means you also most likely spent some time hanging. It's just something kids inherently do. It's either you played around at the monkey bars at the playground or you climbed trees. And we can take a page from our younger selves because kids have perfect mobility. They also have zero back or shoulder pain. But as you got older and life happened, this hanging practice is something that most likely went out the window in your daily routine. And that's a problem because now you're dealing with that use it or lose it scenario when it comes to your upper body mobility. With that comes a boatload of negative side effects, including aches and pain throughout your body. Just think about it. When was the last time you spent any time hanging? Probably not since you were a kid. And there's a very strong correlation there if you're experiencing back pain. So if you're someone who spends eight hours a day staring at a screen while sitting in a desk, especially if you're not paying attention to your posture, because the common tendency for the average person is to go into a hunched position for prolonged periods of time. Same thing if you're just always on your phone. You're probably in a hunched position watching this video right now. That's also how people get carpal tunnel. Your cells will literally start to get sticky if you spend too much time time in one position, which again is what a lot of people do. It's just not a good position to chronically spend your time in as a human being. And that's where the magic of hanging comes into play. A really simple thing you can do as a remedy is just getting your arms above your head every day. You can do this at the gym or at a playground. You'd be the biggest kid there, but who cares? Or you can find somewhere where you can hang safely at home. You can get one of those cheap pull-up bars. Or you can get a set of gymnastics rings like the ones I have. They're relatively cheap. Just make sure you can hang it somewhere nice and sturdy where it can hold your body weight. And this isn't about being able to do pull-ups or anything fancy at this point. That's not what this is about. Like a lot of people can't and that's okay. It's not a big deal. What I care about is you get your arms above your head and you spend a little bit of time in that position every day. Try to get 90 seconds in total or even just 60 seconds if you're just a beginner every time you do it. So you can do 15 seconds four to six times, for example, just hanging. Then try to repeat that process a couple of times a day. It's going to change your life because as you're doing it, you're literally restructuring the shape of your shoulder. It's an absolute game changer when it comes to improving shoulder mobility. You're improving your grip strength in the process and therefore getting rid of your back pain. This almost sounds too good to be true. Why do you think you feel so good when you yawn and stretch? It's because you're allowing yourself to get long and create that space in your body. And if you literally haven't spent any time hanging since you were a kid, just do whatever you can. If you can only hold that hanging position for 5 to 10 seconds, that's totally fine. It's not a race. Because if you don't, your joints and muscles will start to atrophy. Again, use it or lose it. It's a big problem if you lose it. Just think of an old and dirty kitchen cloth and you left it all crumpled up. After a while, it kind of just starts to fester and get all gross. You might even have to throw it out. That's basically what happens to your lungs, ribs, your intercostals, and all the precious tissue throughout your body. It's just not being breathed, expanded, and contracted with regularity like it's supposed to. So hanging with your arms overhead is the remedy. Remember, we evolved to move as human beings, otherwise you'd be a tree. And when you do move and spend some time hanging, you're taking your proverbial rag and you're breathing life into it. You're lifting it out and you're letting fresh air blow through it. All of a sudden, that rag starts to get better. The exact same thing happens to your body. 
So by having this relationship of your shoulder, neck, ribs, spine, and everything else in between, in a position that's most aligned, balanced, and stacked, again, by getting long and spending some time hanging every day, that is easily one of the best ways to get rid of chronic back pain. It's how I personally cured my chronic back pain. And this is coming from a guy who's broken his back twice and is now living pain-free. If you want to progress further in this hanging exercise, you can start doing leg raises to engage your abs a little more. You can then progress that movement to getting your toes all the way up. All of a sudden, you've got a complete upper body and core workout. You can also use hanging as a base to work your way up to more advanced bodyweight exercises like pull-ups. It all starts with hanging every day. Now, here's where the benefits of hanging gets taken up to a new level. In case you didn't know, there is staggering data available that shows that exercise is the single most important longevity tool available, bar none. It almost goes without saying that your mortality risk goes up a lot if you smoke or have diabetes. It doubles or triples your risk of death depending on the time you're looking at. That's where exercise comes into play. For example, having elite cardiovascular fitness results in a five-fold reduction in all-cause mortality. That's why establishing a consistent walking routine is life-changing. Try to get at least 10,000 steps every day. It gets you 90% of the way there to get that 5x reduction. There's also pretty good data that's available that shows that high strength versus low strength results in a three-fold reduction in all-cause mortality. And the test isn't about how much you can squat or deadlift. A simple test of grip strength and hanging correlates unbelievably well. The interesting part is you get most of the benefits going from not fit at all to average fit. It gives you three of the 5x reduction in mortality. In short, here's how to not die early. Have good grip strength and be physically fit. So if you're just starting out, you're actually in an unbelievably good spot to benefit from this. Here's why. If we look at the causes of mortality, one of the most common things is accidental deaths. The interesting thing is accidental deaths change by age. As you get older, as much as 90% of accidental deaths are falls. So a fall is a very lethal thing by the time you're 65. With surgery, 21% die within the first year of fracturing a hip. Without surgery, 70% die. It's a devastating consequence to say the least. I personally saw this firsthand when my 80-something-year-old late grandma fell and ended up breaking her hip. She eventually recovered, but not too long after, she passed away. Think about how much a strong grip versus a weak grip could affect a fall. Like if you can get your hand out or grab onto something, it could potentially save your life. That's why grip strength, which you can derive from hanging every day, matters a lot because it's such a good proxy for strength. As your grip strength improves, it alleviates a lot of pain, aches, and imbalances throughout your body. People deal with chronic shoulder and back pain most of their lives not knowing it can be fixed by practicing something they used to do as a kid. Just spend some time hanging every day. That's quite the return on your investment, if you ask me. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then you don't want to ignore this one. I'll see you there.